What's up ghouls, it's Batty Jade, and welcome to another crafting video. I'm finally making something I've been meaning to do for a long time. Basically, uh, right after I bought the cat tree behind me, um, because it's more like a kitten tree, and it turns out, um, it wasn't very good, um too small really for my cats even um and I think that's a way pretty much all of them are made that you can buy online um but that's where the cheap ones are which is what I went when th um when I tried to buy my cats a new cat tree especially one in here that I thought that they could use but unfortunately, uh, the only one that even can try to use it right now is my little cat, Quinn. Um, but even she has a hard time using it. Um, don't tell her I told you, but even she had a day where um, she just woke up from a nap and she was sleepy and she was trying to be cute and she rolled over and she... Uh, she took a little tumble, and she fell out, and I felt really bad, and, um, so I'm gonna try to make them some bigger beds, and some way cooler beds, for sure, because, uh, I can't just do anything, you know, normal. I have to make it extra, so, uh, I'm trying to make my sweet babies some cute little coffin-shaped beds, um, which I think will go really well because the whole tree's black. So, um, it's for the tree right there behind me. And, um, I'm just gonna make two, but yeah, I'm gonna make two, uh, little coffin shaped beds. I already went ahead and, uh, made the bottoms. So, um,. I went ahead to my mom's and I asked her if she had any spare boards. And uh, lucky for me, she did. And she also had a circular saw, which uh, I don't have that heavy duty equipment because I don't have um, the room for it here in my apartment. So um, she helped me out and also uh, got it cut into the coffin shapes for me. So. I unfortunately didn't get to film that, but, um, uh, it was pretty easy. All we did was, um, measure on the boards, uh, like where, uh, to, uh, put the cuts and did that with Sharpies and then basically just made four, um, kind of diagonal cuts. And it was actually pretty simple to make uh, coffin shapes, so um, not too bad, not too bad. Just need to look at a coffin shape and do a little bit of uh, measuring, and um, yeah. Um, I imagine anybody could uh, guesstimate and figure it out themselves, because that's what we did, and we were already pretty tired. It was the end of the day, so yeah. Um, not much else to do. Uh, I did get some foam. I found some foam lying around, some trash foam, but it was some sturdy stuff and it came in sheets, so I was like, you know what, I can use that too. So, I haven't bought much but the fabric to cover it with for this project, so. I think it's gonna be good, so, uh, you know, let's get going and do the rest. Okay, so now I need to drill a hole for the screw to fit through in my boards. And, um, so I just put the boards on top of the poles on the cat tree and just kind of marked about where I need to put the holes with just a Sharpie. And then I just took the largest drill bit I had, which unfortunately wasn't big enough for the hole that I needed um, for the screws to fit through. So I improvised and I just kept drilling the hole until it was big enough to fit through. And um, I checked that 
by literally just trying to push the screw through the hole. Um, so I had to make a few passes with it um, until the hole was big enough to fit. And um, <laughs> the second board was a little harder because the wood was a little firmer. And uh, I ended up uh, on the floor by the end of it, but uh, <laughs> I made it. I might not uh, be the safest or the best woodworker, but you know, uh, I made it out with all my digits, so <laughs> I'm gonna say it's fine. <laughs> all right, so then I covered my boards in black felt and all I did was I just marked with some white chalk around it. Um, I forget exactly how much, but I think it was like an inch or two um, around each side. Um, about. And uh, just marked that off. And then uh, cut around it. And that's how... I decided how much fabric I would need to wrap around the boards. So then after I had the fabric cut and centered on the board, I needed to make a hole for the screw to fit through. So the way that I did that was I just kind of took a paintbrush and I just jammed some of the fabric through the hole. And um, once it was through the other side, I just kind of cut it with whatever I had. Um, I tried scissors, but then an X-Acto knife worked a little bit better. So then I just uh, cut a little bit of the fabric and pulled it back out. And once it was just a big enough hole, um, I took some hot glue and I just kind of glued it um, onto the board around the hole so it just kind of would stay down and stay in place and also um, not really fray uh, around it over time. Okay, so for this next part, I bought a heavy duty stable gun. Um, and I just bought this one actually from Walmart. And um, I also had to buy their heavy duty stables from there, but it wasn't that much. I think it was only like, um, $13, something like that. Um, but it worked really well. Um, it was a little hard to use. It was hard to squeeze the staple gun um, with one hand especially. I pretty much had to use two. Um, just hold it in place and then squeeze and just hope that it stayed still on the table. <laughs> Um, I did waste uh, a few staples because it moved or I just didn't squeeze hard enough. But it wasn't super hard to use. And I think it worked really well, certainly well than um, hot glue would have worked. I wanted uh, the fabric to stay in place really well. And so I'm glad that I bought this. I'll probably use it. For something else in the future. And anyway, uh, all I did was I folded the fabric over each side of the coffin shape and just stapled it down, um, kind of like um, you would when doing like upholstery. That's pretty much what I did for each of the coffin shapes. And I think it worked really well. Okay, so for the bigger bed, I decided to put some padding in it. And um, my mom gave me this uh, spare pet bed. And um, so what I did is I just cut the bottom out of that. And um, <laughs> basically decided to use that. Um, and I needed to cut a hole for the screw again. So basically what I did is I just took my X-Acto knife and slit uh, a hole in it and just kind of worked to move the stuffing and the fabric uh, further enough away from the hole um, 
that the screw could get into it and it took a little of maneuvering and uh, figuring out, but eventually I figured out that I kind of needed to um, super glue the pieces of the bed together um, to kind of keep it away from the hole. So that's what I did. I, I cut the hole big enough and I super glued it together and I moved it away from the bed. And then after I did all that, um, I actually kind of <laughs> took this table gun and stapled the big cushions, uh, pillowy parts away from the hole as well because it was just all kind of getting in the way and I really needed the screw to be clear so that I could make sure the bed would actually fit on the tree when I was done because I was really worried about that part. Um, and so after I finished the whole part, um, I took the stapler gun and uh, I actually went around the edges of the bed and I stapled the bed um, securely onto the board as well just so it didn't like all move around in there um, after I was done and like bunch up in any places I didn't want that to happen so I made sure to secure it again with the nice new fancy stable gun I bought making my money work for me <laughs> So this part might be a little bit janky, but um, I did uh, insert the fabric into uh, the middle hole again, and I did this first um, before measuring this time because I wasn't sure um, with the cushion how much uh, the fabric was going to um, be with that extra on there not being flat so I stuck it in there and then uh, folded it kind of over the back to measure and then just um, folded it over the whole board and then <laughs> kind of measured that with chalk um, about where I thought it should be to fold over and be stapled. I didn't do it the most accurately, but it made sense to my brain when I did it. <laughs> and, uh, it, it worked fine. Like, I didn't run into any problems after I did it, so I think it was okay. Then I just cut it out and uh, stapled it just like the first one. So now I had to make the side walls of the bed and I did it using this foam that I'd found, uh, just tossed aside for free to go in the garbage. And um, so it was fairly thick. So I just measured out all, um, well, each side of, um, the coffin shape. And for the large one, I wanted the walls to be, um, taller since it was cushioned and had the bed on it. So I first made them six inches tall, then decided that that was too tall after I cut it out. And so then I cut um, an inch off of each side again to make um, each of the walls five inches tall. But I made uh, the, the little bed walls much shorter. I made them only three inches tall and I thought that they were much more stable um, being shorter and actually a little bit better because I'm able to see my cats a little bit better with the shorter walls so I kind of wish that I had made um, the big beds walls uh, at least an inch shorter I think four inches would have been fine so now I thought the easiest way to cover the sides and fabric um, would to be 
basically to kind of wrap them like a uh, present. And um, so I took hot glue because unfortunately this staple gun didn't work. And um, so I started with just um, gluing it to one side, the bottom. Um, so you wouldn't see it once it was on the bed. And I made sure that um, when I cut the pieces, I cut them so it would wrap around all the way um, around the piece once with a little bit left over just to make sure um, I cut enough and then a little left over on each side so giving it a little bit of a seam allowance and so I wrapped up each piece um, leaving the seam um, on the bottom of the piece uh, when I was smart, um, I might have done it differently on accident, but I think I did um, the seam on the bottom of each piece. And then after I did that, then I went to the sides and I would glue um, one flap of the fabric down and then I would kind of just tuck it inside itself and um, kind of glue that flap that I tucked down a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of hard to describe what I did, but um, it was a little janky. It did look a little janky, but um, it gets hidden eventually, so it ends. Okay, so assembling it, basically um, I glued each side to the very um, little tiny side of the board uh, with hot glue again and um, then I glued it to each side um, side panel that it was attached to. Um, the sides didn't quite match up perfectly and it wasn't really a solid fit um like it wasn't sturdy so it definitely wasn't sturdy enough for cats to be climbing all over it um so like immediately i was like um this this is attaching it but it's not going to work so, um, like, uh, I was really upset and stressed, but I was like, okay, what's the next step? There's unfortunately going to be have to be a next step. And unfortunately for me, it meant I was going to have to sew each and every piece on by hand and that's what you're going to see next okay so i got some of these curved upholstery needles from joann's and these really saved me they were much easier to use um i used the smallest size needle and then I also got these things called thumbles, basically thimbles for your thumb, because the largest size thimbles wouldn't fit my big thumbs. And then I also got a couple of these um, other thimbles for my other fingers, because I sewed for one day and my fingers hurt so bad I didn't know what to do with myself. Um, and the, this took multiple days of sewing, so yeah. So, yeah, multiple days of sewing, um, hanging out with the kiddos and uh, just grabbing all my stuff and sitting and sewing. They came and hung out with me and hopefully saw all the hard, hard work I had to put in to this um but sewing actually really did help um make it 
so much sturdier. Like, I can't stress enough, like, how much sturdier sewing all the seams made it. Like, I sewed the inside and the outside seams of where um, each side was attached to the bottom board. And then I also sewed where each side was attached um, to each <laughs> each side um, and kind of fixed where you could see they were coming apart and you could see some of the glue inside and all that. So it also made it look much better and prettier. So unfortunately, you really, really needed to sew this project, which sucks because it was really, really frustrating and time consuming and really hurts your fingers. So I finished the big bed first and I decided before I started on the little one, I'd see how they liked it. And um, it was a little bit of a fail. Do you like it? like right before I put them in the tree all nice and finished all that hard work for my babies they better like them Baby, 
sih Hoki? Okay, so I finished the cat tree. So far, there are mixed reviews. Um, <laughs> I've got Quinn to lay in it for right now. I had to cry and beg and plead with her. And she kind of looks like she wants to run out. She's giving me the eye. Okay. Yeah. Um. To be honest, they hated it at first. That was partially my fault. I didn't screw it in enough, and it was wobbly, so they got a little freaked out. Um. Harley is scared of heights, and honestly, kind of too big for that cat tree. She's She's not what you would call an athlete, or flexible, or generally very cat-like at all. So she cannot really maneuver to get to either of the beds. Um, even when I put her in one of the beds, she, she doesn't really dig the vibe. She's like, um, I want to be on the bed or your lap or the bed under your lap. So, um, I don't think she's going to use it. I even tried putting, uh, wet food, which is like their high value, <laughs> uh, treat, I guess you would say, um, there. And she, she just cried for it. She could not, she could not find it. She could not maneuver to it. Um, even when I helped her like a big fat toddler, she could not get to it. So, um, she's out. Um, Quinn has gotten to the beds herself, herself. Um, she's jumped to both. So... She's... She... I mean, she's laying in one right now. So they're definitely usable. Um, It's much better when I first put one in and she was just like, No, I hate it. Burn it with fire. And I was just like, It took so long to do it. Why do you hate it? And I wanted to cry, so... Um... At least I feel like she won't fall out of this one like the other crappy little ones. Do I feel like she likes it any better? Honestly, no. Mm, no. Did I think she would appreciate it? No, she's a cat, so... I don't know what I was looking for in this except to fuel my own weird creative um uh just hopes and dreams 
and uh, I in the end I did it. I completed it. It works. It functions. So, and it's slightly aesthetically pleasing now. My cat has coffin beds, so I guess I'll call it a win. <laughs> Even though my fingers still hurt after all that sewing, I can't believe I didn't form callusks on my thumbs. I guess I just have sweet little baby digits. Um, even with the thumbles and thimbles, I eventually got um still really hurt my fingers and it was hard to maneuver with them on so and I eventually did hot glue burn my hand ironically the hand with the little um the little burn finger <laughs> condom things on um I don't know why they only make them for the fingertips they don't make them for the whole hand and it it was my palm that was not covered, that did get burned. So I'm like, why couldn't you just make a whole little glove that I could slip on instead of just my little fingertips? Because it's not the part that it burned. Thank you very much. Um, but it's whatever. It's, it's done now. I did it. I accomplished it. I lived my dreams. <sighs> Didn't let my dreams be dreams. So, you know. I've been wanting to do that a long time, and I did it, so, you know, I feel good about myself. And, uh, if you can sew, if you can live through that harsh reality and sew all the seams, and you've got somebody that can cut a board into a shape, uh, it's easily achievable. I mean, really, it wasn't that hard. And, um, you could do this, um, it doesn't have to be for a cat tree, you could just leave out the hole in the bottom and just make it a normal cat bed, and honestly, that could, that could probably be cooler, because then you could just look at it from the top and it, you can recognize the shape a lot better, so, um, anyways, I really hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, cause it was really, <laughs> it took a lot of time and effort to make, and, uh, <laughs> I suffered a lot. Um, but I'm excited cause my birthday has passed and we're into spooky season, so I'm already buying all the Halloween decor that I'm finding in stores, and, um, you know... I could use some extra money, so it would really be awesome if people could like and subscribe and we could work towards getting this channel monetized. Wouldn't that be just the best? That would be just the end goal, be all. So, um, thank you very much, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye